Okay, suppose that now you're flying and you need to set up a waypoint which is some places around you and you don't know exactly where but you, you have an idea, you go to screen view, pan mode here it is, now you pan out suppose that you want to go here, near Simeta nearest waypoint and you decide what you want to do. You do a go to, for example. That's it. Suppose that you see. Now this is easy. I mean, you could do that several ways. You have the chance of using, for example, the nearest pages. You go to ten points. You sort by direction. You have a list of waypoints ahead of you. But the difficult thing is, how do I set up a waypoint destination that does not exist? And this is nice because you can do it easily now. You do pan mode and zoom a little bit. You decide that you want to go exactly here, right in the middle of the lake. There is a location marker button. Click on that creates a, a marker which is name marker then you have nearest waypoint you click on this it does automatically select the latest waypoint you've created and you do go to pan off you're done let's do it again menu screen view pan mode you pan around you want to go here, location marker, nearest waypoint, go to. Of course, you can also insert this waypoint in a task. For example, instead of doing a go to, you could put it in as an alternate one or two, or you can do it in a task. You can insert the waypoint you just created inside any kind of place in the task. Let's have a look at the interesting information that the waypoint which has been just created is telling you some information about the nearest place you could see. That's all. It's very easy to go to a special destination that doesn't exist as a waypoint.